right. Square five page of pentacles. I'm going to throw out two more cards. I'm going to throw out a spread and then we're going to get into it. Okay. Face up there. The lovers, queen of cups in the reverse. Wow. Okay. So there's so much going on here. Okay. First, we have the uh, page of pentacles. Okay. There's going to be some good news when it comes to the finances as well. This good news can come from what I call an earthquake, which is a Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay. They could be coming to drop a dime on you and let you know there's some, there's some type of opportunity. Or maybe there might be some money that they may owe you. Okay. So if you have a younger person that may owe you money, maybe a subordinate when it comes to the workplace or somebody that works under you, if you're an entrepreneur, there is definitely some money in there for you okay i'm also getting uh this comes out right after the uh king of cups i'm also getting to be careful not to cast your pearls before swine be careful because there is somebody who is a wet dream what i call a wet dream which is cancer fight scorpio okay get into my terminology and we'll let y'all know in the notes okay um be careful about casting your pearls before swine okay there could be somebody that you're dealing with that's a little bit older, but they're not operating in their king energy now, are they? They're in a the reverse. They're inverted, which means they're not moving like a king, okay? They're not moving like a king, okay? They're not emotionally mature at all, okay? Not emotionally mature uh, or uh, anything of that matter. So uh, be careful about offering this person any type of, like, you know, advice or money. Keep your jewels to yourself, okay? Don't cast any pro before uh, swine here. But I'm definitely getting a very uh a fallen king here a fallen king with this king of cups this person is a not emotionally intelligent or mentally sound uh at all and this is not a person that you want to offer anything up with or offer any type of stability with with the page of um, pentacles okay we also have the lovers card and we have uh the queen of cups that comes out right afterwards so it's very interesting uh, we have two people. We have a king and a queen who are not in their element uh, emotionally anymore, okay? They're both, um, I could say that they are both just completely um, not open to love, completely out of a touch with their emotions, okay? But what stands between them here, what stands in between them is the fact that spirit wants these two people to come together but right now okay they are going through both of them i feel that they're both going through dark nights of the soul and right now they're just not they're just not in their element they have not fully healed yet okay all right but what is in the middle of them is the lover's card about coming together so and then we have the angel at the top here so i'm definitely feeling like um, I feel like the powers that be, the spirit guides of both of these people want them to be together, but right now with what they're dealing with in their lives is causing their heart chakras to be inactive, causing them to not be in touch with their emotions, denying their emotions, lashing out, uh, walking around unhealed. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm getting with, um, with that um, message, okay? So overall, this message is pretty much to be careful about trying to uh, be careful who you're offering your stability and your heart to and things of that uh, nature, okay? When it comes to business and finance, there's good news with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, also with the Lover's Card, you may have somebody that may want to partner up with you, okay? And look to your spirit guides, check with your spirit guides to see if that's the right decision um, for you to make. And then when it comes to the love, when it comes to matters of the heart, it's like a, it's like this king and this queen, they're not in their element. They're not feeling to um, express their feelings. They're still kind of working out the kinks of their past trauma. So they could be going through a stage where they're a bit jaded right now, okay? Um, uh, but we do have the lover's card here in the middle. Uh, I think this is just a part of the process for the king and queen to be inverted because eventually they will be able to work on their issues and become upright and then the lovers can come in so that's the only thing that's standing in their way is their own emotional pain so i um, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and yeah that's it see you later Bye.